it's a very diverse industry. We always say tourism is everybody's business and everybody has business and tourism and now with business falling away, the consequences of COVID are not only bona fide tourism enterprises such as our hospitality establishments, um, but all our suppliers are suffering too. Mechanics suddenly don't have work in terms of fixing cars that usually would be on the road now. So the impact has been dire. Yeah, yeah. Just for the sake of our viewers, uh, paint a picture for us on you know, what tourism in Namibia looks like. Um, well, we, we have gone through metamorphosis to 2030, well, say before independence, we already had tourism. That's why I said Han was formed in 1987 and mm -hmm. we've got an even older organization at, at the Hunters. They formed about almost 50 years ago. Um, it was, it started off as, you know, family and friends wanting to visit their family and friends in a dis different country and um, some of the connections that we used to have with the German market came through and it was commercialized in the year 60s, 70s. In the year 80, we had some yeah, 100,000, 200,000 bona fide tourists and now the latest statistics from our Ministry of Environment and Tourism speak of 1.5, 1.6 million visitors to Namibia. We always have to and that's an annual figure? An annual figure, but the 1.5 million that we speak of is the definition by the World Tourism Organization that speaks about a tourist being somebody who visits a country for more than a day, but less than a year. Um, but many of those people that come over the border for purchases of their daily rations or, or medical reasons, don't always, we don't see them as tourism proper because they don't spend time and money in hotels and lodges or doing a game drive or doing activities. So mm -hmm. um, of the 1.5 million people, we say it's safe to say that a third of those are the bona fide tourists that bring in that, that currency, the foreign currency that we need to get tourism money into the f economic flow here of Namibia. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, even those 450,000, 500,000, the half a million people, um, coming to Namibia, really, we, we speak about 15% of the GDP coming out of the tourism turnover, um, between 12 and 13%, depending on direct and, and indirect tourism employment, um, comes from this industry. And we've seen it now. Many people are on long leave at the moment. They are on half pay at the moment. Um, many have lost their jobs. At the moment, I can't say how many people will actually be able to get back on their feet once tourism starts flowing again. Yeah. So the impact is huge and I think it's going to show in, in the next year or so also in our economic GDP yeah. setup yeah. that a huge chunk of, of a normal flow. We always took tourism for granted and you know in, in, in trying to adapt and to fit into the new and ever evolving trends of tourism we kept up abreast Namibia was quite high up in terms of the best destination to go to. But nothing could have prepared us for, for what happened in yeah. 2020.